Good morning all and welcome to our morning prayer. In the name of God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Amen. We have come together as a family of God in our Father's presence to offer Him praise and thanksgiving, to hear and receive His Holy Word and to bring before Him the needs of the world, to ask of His forgiveness of our sins and to seek His grace that through His Son Jesus Christ we may offer ourselves in service. Let us worship and praise Him. Lord, open our lips, that we may glorify and praise Your name. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. O shout to the Lord in triumph over the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness, and come before His face with songs of joy. Know that the Lord, He is God that it is He who has made us and we are His. We are His people and the sheep of His pasture. Come into His gates with thanksgiving and into His courts with praise. Give thanks to Him and bless His holy name. For the Lord is good, His loving mercy is forever, His faithfulness throughout all generations. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. We come to the moment of penitence. Let us call to mind and confess our sins. We pray together, Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, in penitence we confess that we have sinned against you through our own fault, in thought, word and deed, and in what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, Christ our Lord, forgive us all that is past, and grant that we may serve you in newness of life, to the glory of your name. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and keep us in eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We listen to the word of God and we have our psalm of the day. Psalm 18, reading from verse 32 to 52, from the Anglican Prayer Book on page 623. The way of our God is perfect. The word of the Lord has been tried in the fire. He is a shield to all that trust in Him. For who is God but the Lord? Or who is our rock but our God? It is God that girded me with strength, that made my way perfect. He made my feet like the feet of a hind, and set me sure-footed upon the mountains. He taught my hands to fight, and my arms to aim an arrow of bronze. He gave me the shield of your salvation. Your right hand upheld me, and your swift response has made me great. You lengthened my stride beneath me, and my ankles did not slip. I pursued my enemies and overtook them, nor did I turn again till I had made an end of them. I smote them till they would rise till they could rise no more, and they fell beneath my feet. You girded me with strength for the battle, you threw down my adversaries under me, you caused my enemies to show their backs, and I destroyed those that hated me. They cried for help, but there was none to save them. They cried to the Lord, but he would not answer. I pounded them fine as dust before the wind, and trod them under like the mire of the streets. You delivered me from the strife of the peoples. You made me the head of the nations. A people that I had not known became my servants. As soon as they heard me, they obeyed me, and aliens humbled themselves before me. The strength of the aliens withered away. They came faltering from their strongholds. The Lord lives, and blessed be my rock. Exalted be the God of my salvation. The God who sees to it that I am avenged, who subdues the peoples under me. You set me free from my enemies. You put me out of reach of my attackers. You delivered me from the violent men. For this I will give you thanks among the nations, O Lord, and sing praises to your name. To him that gives great triumphs to his king, that deals so faithfully with his anointed, 
with David and with his seed forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. We now listen to our first reading of the day. The first reading is taken from the book of 2 Samuel, chapter 14, reading from verse 1 to 20, taken from the New Revised Standard Version, Anglicized. Now Joab, son of Zeruiah, perceived that the king's mind was on Absalom. Joab sent to Tekoa and brought from there a wise woman. He said to her, Pretend to be in mourning. Put on mourning garments. Do not anoint yourself with oil, but behave like a woman who has been mourning many days for the dead. Go to the king and speak to him as follows. And Joab put the words into her mouth. When the woman of Tekoa came to the king, she fell on her face to the ground and did obey obeisance and said, Help, O king. The king answered her, What is your trouble? She answered, Alas, I am a widow. My husband is dead. Your servant had two sons and they fought with one another in the field. There was no one to part them and one struck the other and killed him. Now the whole family has risen against your servant. They say, Give up the man who struck his brother, so that we may kill him for the life of his brother, whom he murdered, even if we destroy their heir as well. Thus they would quench my one remaining ember, and leave to my husband neither name nor remnant on the face of the earth. Then the king said to the woman, Go to your house, and I will give orders concerning you. The woman of the Koa said to the king, On me be the guilt, my lord the king, and on my father's house let the king and his throne be guiltless. The king said, If anyone says anything to you, bring him to me, and he shall never touch you again. Then she said, Please, may the king keep the Lord your God in mind, so that the avenger of blood may kill no more, and my son not be destroyed. He said, As the Lord lives, not one hair of your son shall fall to the ground. Then the woman said, Please let your servant speak a word to my lord the king. He said, Speak. The woman said, Why then have you planned such a thing against the people of God? For in giving this decision the king convicts himself, inasmuch as the king does not bring his banished one home again. We must all die. We are all we are like water spilled on the ground, which cannot be gathered up. But God will not take away a life. He will devise plans so as not to keep an outcast banished forever from his presence. Now I have come to say this to my lord the king, because the people have made me afraid. Your servant thought, I will speak to the king. It may be that the king will perform the request of his servant, for the king will hear and deliver his servant from the hand of the man who could cut both me and my son off from the heritage of God. Your servant thought, The word of my lord the king will set me at rest, for my lord the king is like the angel of God, discerning good and evil. The Lord your God be with you. Then the king answered the woman, Do not withhold from me anything I ask you. The woman said, Let my lord the king speak. The king said, is the hand of Joab with you in all this? The woman answered and said, As surely as you live, my lord the king, one cannot turn right or left from anything that my lord the king has said, for it was your servant Joab who commanded me. It was he who put all these words into the mouth of your servant. In order to change the course of affairs, your servant Joab did this. But my lord has wisdom like the wisdom of the angel of God, to know all things that are on the earth. Here ends the first lesson. The Song of Zechariah Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us. He promised to show mercy to our forebears and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abram, 
to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sin. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine upon those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. We now have our second reading for the day. The second reading is taken from the book of Acts chapter 21, reading from verse 1 to 14, taken from the New Revised Standard Version, Anglicized. When he had parted from them and set sail, we came by a straight course to Kos, and the next day to Rhodes, and from there to Patara. When we found a ship bound for Phoenicia, we went on, a, we went on board and set sail. We came in sight of Cyprus, and leaving it on our left, we sailed to Syria, and landed at Tyre, because the ship was to unload its cargo there. We looked up the disciples and stayed there for seven days. Through the Spirit they told Paul not to go on to Jerusalem. When our days were ended, we left and proceeded on our journey, and all of them, with wives and children, escorted us outside the city. There we knelt down on the beach and prayed, and said farewell to one another. Then we went on board the ship, and they returned home. When we had finished the voyage from Tyre, we arrived at Ptolemais, and we greeted the believers and stayed with them for one day. The next day we left and came to Caesarea, and we went into the house of Philip the Evangelist, one of the seven, and stayed with him. He had four unmarried daughters who had the gift of prophecy. While we were staying there for several days, a prophet named Agabus came down from Judea. He came to us and took Paul's belt, bound his own feet and hands with it, and said, Thus says the Holy Spirit, this is the way the Jews in Jerusalem will bind the man who owns this belt and will hand him over to the Gentiles. When we heard this, we and the people there urged him not to go up to Jerusalem. Then Paul answered, What are you doing weeping and breaking my heart? For I am ready not only to be bound, but even to die in Jerusalem for the name of the Lord Jesus. Since he would not be persuaded, he remained silent except to say, the Lord's will be done. Here ends the second lesson. The Song of the Church We praise you, O God. We acclaim you as Lord. All creation worships you, the Father everlasting. To you, all angels, all the powers of heaven, cherubim and seraphim, sing in endless praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. The glorious company of apostles praise you. The noble fellowship of prophets praise you. The white-robed army of martyrs praise you. Throughout the world, the Holy Church acclaims you, Father of majesty unbounded. Your true and only Son, worthy of worship, the Holy Spirit, advocate and guide. You, Christ, are the King of glory, the eternal Son of the Father. When you became man to set us free, you humbly chose the virgin's womb. You overcame the sting of death and opened the kingdom of heaven to all believers. You are seated at God's right hand in glory. We believe that you will come to be our judge. Come then, Lord, and help your people, bought with the price of your own blood. And bring us with your saints to glory everlasting. Save your people, Lord, and bless your inheritance. Govern and uphold them now and always. Day by day we bless you. We praise your name forever. Keep us today, Lord, from all sin. Have mercy on us, Lord. Have mercy. Lord, show us your love and mercy, for we put our trust in you. In you, Lord, is our hope. Let us never be put to shame. We now say the Apostles' Creed together. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, 
He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sin, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. We say the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Lord God, we ask you to give us your blessing, to your church, holiness, to the world, peace, to this nation, justice, and to all people, knowledge of your law. Keep safe our families, protect the weak, heal the sick, comfort the dying, and bring us all to a joyful resurrection. We ask these things through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We say the collect of today. God of awesome wonder, bless us with a bold belief even in the darkness of the night and the assault of life's storms, that we may be messengers of your peace and justice in the name of the one whom winds and waves obey and who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. The Collect of Peace for Peace O God, the author of peace and lover of concord, to know you is eternal life, to serve you is perfect freedom. Defend us, your servants, from all assaults of our enemies, that we may trust in your defense and not fear the power of any adversaries through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty and everlasting Father, you have safely brought us to the beginning of another day. Defend us by your mighty power, that we may be kept free from all sin and safe from every danger. And enable us this day to do only what is right in your eyes, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Here, as we say every day, you can pause the video, take a moment of silence and just pray for people in your families around you, people that you know of on our pew leaflet and everywhere that you feel people that need prayers. Take this moment, pause the video and just take this moment to reflect on these people and to give them up to God for prayer. Blessing and honor and thanksgiving and praise, more than we can utter, more than we can understand, be to you, O holy and glorious Trinity, Father, Son and Holy Spirit from all angels, all people, all creatures, forever and ever. God of all power, we acclaim you. Lord of all grace, we worship you. We are not worthy of you, yet your goodness makes us praise you and give you thanks. We praise you for the life you have given us and for all the blessings we have received at your hand. Above all, we give you thanks for your Son, Jesus Christ, for the grace and hope which his death and resurrection have brought to us. We ask this of you, our Father, that we may never forget your goodness to us, and that we may show our thankfulness not only in words, but by the service of our lives, both now and in all eternity. Heavenly Father, your Son promised that whenever we pray in his name, you will hear us, answer our prayers as may be best for us, granting us in this world the knowledge of your truth, and in the world to come, the fullness of eternal life, through Jesus Christ our Lord. May the Lord bless us and watch over us. May the Lord make his face shine on us and be gracious to us. May the Lord look kindly on us and give us peace. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all forever. Amen. Thank you once again for joining us with our morning prayer. We look forward to seeing you again. Please join us as tomorrow. Have a blessed day. 
نگاه بشیم 